What's up everybody, welcome back to another Marvel Snap video and today we got a good one for you. We got something a little bit different, but before we get into the deck, I just wanted to mention a couple of things. First off, Happy New Year's Eve. Hope everyone who's watching this has a good New Year's and good fortune to come in 2023. And I just wanted to say that we just hit 500 subscribers. Thank you so much. Everyone who has supported me really means a lot to me. You know, I have been playing Marvel Snap since towards the end of closed beta, which I guess is a little bit later than some other people. A lot of people started playing from the very beginning of beta release. I got in the beta towards the end of the game, but I didn't really start getting into Marvel Snap until the global release. So the amount of support I've gotten since you know this game officially came out a couple months ago is pretty insane hopefully we can reach a thousand subscribers next year in 2023 and my goal is to become one of the best marvel snap content creators in 2023 so hopefully we can make that happen once again thank you for all the support and as well if you haven't joined my discord already i would love to see you there chat up marvel snap with you I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to my discord in the description down below we are slowly but surely growing you can talk about anything marvel snap related there or not marvel snap related there if you want to show off any cool variants you have show off any cool games that you want uh, anything that you want to talk about marvel snap go ahead and join down below and the last thing i want to mention before i get into the video i don't ask for this often i don't usually like to ask for it but if you haven't already please consider subscribing to my channel looking at my statistics here on youtube 96 percent of viewers are not subscribed which is a very high number so please if you haven't subscribed already please just do me a favor and subscribe i would really appreciate it okay so with all of that out of the way let's go ahead and get into this deck all right, so let's take a look at this deck. No more no more fooling around here, all right? So basically what prompted me to create this deck was I unlocked Adam Warlock just the other day. Adam Warlock is a card you don't see too often. Usually you just kind of see him in, I think, Mr. Negative decks, but a card you don't really see played very often. He is two energy for zero power. At the end of each turn, if you are winning this location, draw a card. So drawing cards in well typically any card game to be honest with you but drawing cards um in marvel snap as well is just a strong ability just drawing your cards allows for more consistency with your deck allows you to pull off more of your combos and have more cards to answer your opponent's combos so drawing cards in marvel snap in any card game is a very strong ability which is why adam warlock is zero power so zero power is really really low tempo it's it's almost like if as if you're skipping turn two in a way so i think that's why adam warlock doesn't see a lot of play but i thought you know what kind of deck could i fit adam warlock in and what i thought of was a guardians of the galaxy style deck so what we do is we use adam warlock sort of as like bait to try and get our opponent to challenge the Adam Warlock lane. And then we play the Guardians of the Galaxy, such as Rocket Raccoon, Star-Lord, Groot, Drax, and Gamora, who basically all have the same ability on reveal if your opponent played a card here this turn, plus X amount of power, right? And they all have different, different uh, amounts of varying power buffs. So that is the reasoning behind this deck. And it's a lot of fun. I'm not gonna say this is the best deck, you know, the best meta deck, you know, something like that. 2000% win rate, don't come after me, all right? This ain't, this ain't no top tier meta deck or anything like that. But if you're looking for a fun deck, this is definitely a ton of fun to play. Like I said before, we have Adam Warlock, who is essentially just kind of bait to bait our opponents into playing into his location so we can activate our Guardians of the Galaxies ability more consistently and if we are winning a lane with him then drawing a card is just really good rocket raccoon in there we got yondu which yondu you don't really see outside of death wave decks but i threw him in there because i wanted to go more with the guardians of the galaxy theme if you want to get a little bit more spicy you can throw in mantis why not um like i said this deck is totally just for fun not meta by any means but yeah yondu is just a fun card in my opinion then we have Daredevil. Daredevil 
is a really good card to pair with Gamora because we are going to guarantee where we can see our opponent's cards being played to activate Gamora's ability. As well, pairs very well with Professor X. We can go ahead and lock down a lane with Professor X. Then we have Star-Lord and Storm. Storm is another good card for locking down a location. This deck does rely on a mix of, of a couple different things here. It's, uh, it's locking down locations with cards like Storm, Professor X, and Spider-Man as well. And by locking down locations, we make it easier to predict where our opponents are going to be playing their cards so we can easier activate our Guardians of the Galaxy's ability. So I think it's a really good and fun combination. I really like Spider-Man in this list. He's four energy for three power. On reveal, your opponent can't play cards at this location next turn. So that narrows it down to which location they're gonna be playing their cards at, which once again, makes it easier for you to activate your Guardian's abilities. And Spider-Man, I like him with Professor X as well. If you play Spider-Man on an empty lane and next turn they can't play cards there, well, you just Professor X that lane. And I accidentally just removed Professor X. But you Professor X that lane and then that is just free lane one. Then we have America Chavez in here. America Chavez, I like in this list, not only just for the consistency, because we always draw her on turn six, we're able to draw our combo pieces like Daredevil and Professor X and Spider-Man earlier on. But I also like America Chavez because usually by turn six, we lock down so many locations with Storm, Professor X, and Spider-Man that usually by turn six, we know whether or not we're winning or losing the game essentially. So it's kind of rare we actually play America Chavez because usually by turn six, either we're just going to win and our opponent is probably going to retreat because we locked them out of all the locations or we lose and we retreat because <laughs> we locked ourselves out of all the locations or we just don't have enough points. I like America Chavez as well since by turn six, we usually know if we're going to win or not. And that is this deck. It's called Lane Guardians. Shout out to Element5 in the Discord who came up with that name for this deck. I wish I was smart enough to take credit for that, but I'm not. So this is Lane Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the uh, the Spider-Man, whatever you want to call it, man. But I like Lane Guardians, Guardians of the Locations, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, that's the deck. Let's hop into some games here. All right, so first matchup, we got nothing to play on turn one. Our opponent played a hood. Now we have Adam Warlock, Star-Lord, and Daredevil. I'm just going to go ahead and play Daredevil. Let's put our boy in, uh, in New York. Missy Knight. So basically, no, it's a Patriot deck at this point. The Raft. So the Raft is kind of good for our Guardians, right? Because... They're going to be wanting to play into the raft. So we can go ahead and toss a Groot in there. And yep, Groot gets the buff off. And he plays a demon. So here we can do, ooh, we could do a couple of things. I could storm it if I think they're going to fill it up before me. I could Spider-Man stop them from filling it up. I could also Star-Lord and... Adam Warlock. I think I'm a Spider-Man. I think I like Spider-Man here. Yeah. That works out. Oh, man. I'm just going to snap. Like, I don't even... Honestly, I don't even need to see what their play is. Because we're just going to be able to fill up the raft and get a free 6 cost card. So he's going to play Patriot. Now, we don't have anything to counter Patriot, but... That's fine. What we can do is Star-Lord here. Then we do Yondu, Adam Warlock here in the right. Now, Adam Warlock's ability is not going to go off, but it doesn't really matter since we just want to activate the Raft anyways. And we get a She-Hulk, which is really good. Basically, just 10 free power, which is a lot. So, yeah, this right lane, I mean, we definitely lost it, right? I don't think I'm going to move any of my cards. Well, I guess maybe I maybe I could move to New York. 
but I don't think I want to. In case he moves some of these cards out, then I could just leave these cards here and win this lane. So I think I'm going to put She-Hulk in the left, Chavez in the middle, and I think we can win this one. She-Hulk comes down, the Chavez comes down, the Doctor Doom comes down. The Doom bots are going to get buffed from Patriot, but it is not enough points because the She-Hulk came in clutch from the raft. So good game there, Mr. Light Carrier. All right, let's try and get some more wins here. We're going against Snappy, who's got that sick anime variant. I did not purchase it. I'm thinking about it, but 50 bucks is so much, man. Uh, let me know if you guys bought that anime bundle or not. We played Yondu, we took out a Wolf's Bane. Wolf's Bane, to me, usually indicates a Silver Surfer deck. Avengers Compound is pretty good for us. On turn five, all cards must be played here. Um, I guess that makes our Daredevil a little, a little less good, though, because we know they're going to play here, but we can see what they play before it, so not bad, I guess. Or actually, it could still get ruined by the Los Diablos base. Now here we got, we could play Rocket and Groot. I think I'm going to do Groot. I'm going to, I'm going to play both of them and I think I'm going to split them up. So let's do, let's do Groot on the right and let's do Rocket on the left. So we did hit the Groot. I wonder if it's a Mr. Negative deck. Probably. Yeah, Mr. Negative. So I think it's a Mr. Negative Surfer deck. Los Diablos is going to hit Elysium, which I'm fine with, to be honest. Oh, we drew Spider-Man. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. This dude ain't going to know what hit him. Oh, he's going to snap on me. Snappy. Snappy. You're snapping on me. I'm snapping back, man. I'm snapping back, Snappy. I am confident. Need you to think about your decision real quick there, Snappy. All right. I don't believe you. Snappy. Snappy. I'm telling you, Snappy. Dude, that's a good name. Snappy playing Marvel Snap. Friendly neighborhood Spider -Man here. I'm telling you, Snappy. You didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. Damn, Iron Man. Okay, Iron Man. Oh, okay. That is a little scary. That is a little scary, actually. Damn. The Mystique Iron Man combo. Okay. That is a little scary. <laughs> so he can't play anything, though. I actually wish we could play Professor X, but it's not enough points. It's not enough points because the negative Iron Man is just huge. Well, I mean, I guess we play Gamora, even though even though he's not going to play anything there. So we're winning all three lanes, but he has ooh, five cards in his hand. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Professor X and Adam Warlock are essentially useless in this matchup. Uh, I think we're we're definitely gonna lose this middle lane. Like if he plays if he plays like just one card there, we're losing that lane. He's gonna play the middle and left lane. So our best bet is to play Chavez on the left. But even then, it's kind of ooh yeah, it's kind of hard. That is kind of hard. A brood plus something else plus a surfer killmonger. Oh man, yeah, it's oh the fast. <gasps> Oh, no, we still won. Oh, my God, we still won. Hey, you know what, though? I think Yondu actually came in clutch. Because remember, he got rid of the Wolfsbane? Dude, if it was a Wolfsbane instead of Bast, we would have won that. Yo, that was that was crazy. That was crazy. All right, GG, Snappy. GG, man. <laughs> Okay, so we got Mirror Island, which is good for our Adam Warlock, actually. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get... Oh, I was going to say, unfortunately, we didn't get Rocky Raccoon. We draw him now a little bit late, though. Let's go ahead and toss Adam Warlock into Mirror Island so he can go ahead and get the buff. They're going to play an Iceman. Oh, hit our Groot. That really sucks. Groot would have been so good here, man. Groot would have been so good. No cards are revealed this turn. Well, I think we want to try and contest this lane. So I'm going to throw my Rocket Raccoon and my Daredevil in the left. Oh, and I forgot no cards reveal. So Rocket didn't reveal yet. 
That's kind of so. Is he still going to trigger his on reveal ability since they did throw a card there, though? That's kind of a weird interaction, I guess. Let's storm the warrior falls and throw our Yandu on there. So, Ant Man armor. So, maybe an ongoing list or zoo. Zero. Okay, so Rocket Raccoon did activate his ability, but he activated it off the armor. So, that's a interesting interaction. On spot. So I think, yeah, this is definitely a, a zoo list. Maybe like the Dracula zoo that I've been seeing more of lately. Oh, yeah, Red Skull. Uh, Red Skull. I could play Gamora. I could, if I play Gamora, I mean, I basically win this lane, right? But I, I could also throw him like a little bit of a curveball and throw Professor X on the left and lock down that lane as well. Uh, I think we're gonna go with the Gamora, right? Actually, no, 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 no. We're gonna Professor X because we lock down the left lane with Professor X. Then we lock down the middle lane with Storm. So we guarantee that they're gonna play in the right next turn. And it basically guarantees Gamora's buff. Now, if it's a, uh, a Taskmaster, we lose. If it's a Taskmaster, we lose. Come on, Gamora. They always ask, where's Gamora? But they never ask, why is Gamora? Squirrel Girl? Dracula? Gamora hits the buff? What is he going to discard? Oh, the Infinite! Yo! Okay, that was pretty sick. Good game there, bud. And we are going against another person with the anime variant profile pick we got kun lun and new york i don't really i don't necessarily want to throw adam warlock down right away our opponent's gonna snap not sure what he's snapping for maybe he's playing movement deck right two movement locations maybe it's a movement deck let's go ahead and play star lord in the middle and i'm calling it now I'm calling it. he's gonna play something nope dang it didn't didn't get him that time dream dimension so here we could storm yeah actually you know i'm gonna storm new york because i actually don't like this location i think it's kind of annoying i'm gonna storm that location uh we could play drax on it next turn which would be pretty cool okay so he's playing nothing again maybe mr negative deck maybe i'm gonna snap i'm gonna throw down drax in the middle just a little bit more uh, as of an insurance policy. There we go, baby. Got him. Oh, She-Hulk. Okay. Well, we still win that lane anyways. We can either do Adam Warlock plus Rocket Raccoon. Or we could do Spider-Man on a location. Which one do we think would be better? I think Spider-Man on a location is probably the better play, right? Which one do I want to hit with Spider-Man, though? The left or the right? Let's throw Spider-Man on the Dream Dimension. Let's see what he's going to play. Maximus. We could just do, like, Chavez here in the right, but what if we, what if we do something like... What if we do, like, Groot no, 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 no. Okay. Nah, it doesn't matter. We still win. So, yeah, that's kind of what I mean by, like, by turn six. You usually know if you win or lose or not. So, I guess he didn't have anything to slot into the flooded lane. That was really, like, the determining factor whether or not he could come back and win this. So, yeah. Good game there, Cuddy. All right, Yandu. Do your thing, Yandu. Do your thing. Squirrel girl. Okay, so we know it's a Patriot deck. <laughs> Telling you, Yandu's got that intel, man. He's got the intel. All right, Warlock, your turn to do your thing. Oh, Warlock value coming in hot. Draw the Spider-Man. X-Mansion's going to spawn a random card. Los Diablos is going to ruin a random location. We have the Storm we could play, but I feel like Storm is kind of low tempo right now. I mean, I guess we could. Good, right? What if I storm the left lane? 
Yeah, what if we do that, actually? Wasp. Oh, he's dropping the Patriot kind of early. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything to counter Patriot in this deck. Next mansion gives him a blade, discards the Cosmo, which is really good for us. Ooh, wave comes out, okay. So wave is coming out, which means I'm gonna go ahead and drop my Gamora on the flooding location. He's snapping, which makes me believe he might have an onslaught to play here. But let's see. It's a mystique. Which is still pretty good. Okay, so we win that location. Blue Marvel. Oh, dude, we just locked him out. Dude, we just locked him out. GG. Spider-Man coming in clutch. Final turn. Oh my god. I mean, we just, we just, we just win the game. We just win the game. That's all we do. He's got nothing to play. Nowhere to play. <laughs> Oh, Big Will. No, I'm sorry, Big Will. I'm sorry. I had to do it to you, man. Dude, Spider-Man is so dirty sometimes. Like, I feel like Spider-Man is a decent card. Like, he's okay. He's not that great. But when he, when he comes in clutch, man, he really comes in clutch. Like, oh, man. We basically just... just <laughs> oh, man. We gave him nowhere to play. All right, and that is the deck and the gameplay. This video might end up being a little bit of a shorter one since this deck is really just kind of for fun, not to be taken too seriously or anything like that. Really just a Guardians of the Galaxy kind of theme to it with some location lockdown. Um, not really good for, for getting cubes, if I'm being honest with you, because, yeah, as you can see during some of those games, your opponent's just going to retreat on the last turn if they're locked out and they can't play anything. So... Not really good for getting cubes. I would not recommend this to, uh, to uh, you know, try and rank up. But if you're looking for something fun, look no further, man. Try it out. This deck is really fun. So once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support on this channel. Wish all of you a happy new year. And once again, if you'd like to join the Discord and chat Marvel Snap with me and Hello other Marvel Snap players, go ahead and join the Discord down in the description down below. Everyone is welcome. I would love to see you there, and thank you for watching. Once again, I'll see you all in the next one. Later.